it's Megan and welcome back to part two of my Christmas decor unboxing. I've got three more bins to go through and I figured while I unboxed and showed you some cool things that I have ready to go out for Christmas, I would also do the Christmas Q&A tag that I saw Eclectic Kristen do and also, and also Sean over at Hearth and Soul. I'm going to link both of their channels below, but I thought that these questions were really good and very festive and I just couldn't resist joining in on the fun. Okay, so the first question is, when do you start Christmas decorating? I feel like I won the battle this year because for every past year that we've lived together, my husband has had a very staunch rule about no decorations until after Thanksgiving, which hurts a Christmas lover like me to the core. But this year I came to him with an argument prepared that I'm on YouTube now, darn it, and I have to get it done early or else everyone's already gonna be done by the time I get my decorations up. I demand to be able to decorate by November 15th. Well, my friends, he caved gladly he loves christmas don't get me wrong he's not a grinch he just likes thanksgiving a lot too um but he caved and today is november 6th and the mantle is decorated <laughs> the tree is going up soon so i did sneak it out a little bit earlier anyways but he said as long as the outside of the house does not look like christmas until after thanksgiving that he is fine and he really does enjoy christmas decorations he just wants to give thanksgiving his due and i'm like boom november 1st is christmas time so i'm unboxing bin number four and i have two of these like wooden trees in a gray pot they're from target they were on clearance down from 19 to 568 that's a good deal my friends and i think they're technically from the spring line but these look like christmas trees am i crazy no i'm not i might put a little red bow on top but i also have three wreaths that are Pretty small that are made out of the same material from the same line but I already have those up so I can't show them to you in the box I already put them up last night question number two is what is your Christmas decor style this year as I've shared already I am doing a very classic Christmas uh, lots of greenery and pops of red and like the velvet bows and berries and probably some touches of gold but I want it to be very instantly festive I want you to walk in and be like boom it is Christmas um, as far as kind of the things that I tend to gravitate towards buying I usually like a little bit more of a modern style a little bit more of a Scandinavian style um, I don't get a lot of rustic I don't get a lot of farmhouse or anything like that so the things that you'll see me pulling out are definitely a little bit more modern like if you saw in my part one video my gold disco Santa um, definitely not farmhouse there but yeah, I just enjoy a little bit more of like the mid-century modern, um, West Elm, Crate and Barrel, that kind of style. So that's what you're going to see a lot of. Question number three is, do you host Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve? Um, I have hosted Christmas once in the past for my husband's family. It was so much fun. I had so much fun planning it and just the whole experience but now that we're in our smaller home there's really no room and also in dallas it can be a little bit hard for us to um get people up here because we have a lot of people in our families that live in our hometown so it's easier for us just to travel there but believe you me i'm looking forward to the days where my home is the home for christmas probably the thing i am most excited about putting out this year like above all anything old or new is this pyramid that is from my mom slash grandma. It's got the little figurines on it. I'm not gonna completely unpackage it now because um, it's very delicate and I want to stay out until I know exactly where it's going. But even like it's all in German. There, my, uh, this is just so special to me. I remember my mom setting this out on her piano when I was a kid and my grandma as well on the same piano. <laughs> and lighting up the candles and the wheel turns from the heat of the candles it's just so special to me and it is so sentimental so this is probably one of the things i'm most excited about setting out ah and this is our very first christmas ornament that i made when we were in high school we didn't even live together i made him an ornament that says megan and josh this is christmas 2007 people over 10 years that's right josh and i have been together for about 12 years now because we started dating in 2006 when we were a babies so 
I don't even like this ornament that much, but it's so sentimental that I have to keep using it. Question number four, have you ever had a white Christmas? Yes, twice in my life. Once when we were visiting my, my dad's side of the family in Amarillo, and twice when I was really young and it snowed like crazy in my hometown, which is in Victoria, Texas, which is like 30 minutes from the coast, south, south Texas, but one year, it just snowed like crazy and it was on Christmas Eve and the whole town went freaking nuts. Like it's a pretty small town, but it was just like one of the most magical things ever. And it was like not a dusting. It was like a foot of snow or something ridiculously crazy. So yes, I have experienced two white Christmases in my life and they were both magical. I love the snow. I love the cold. I wish that I lived somewhere where it was colder and it snowed more often. But alas, I don't. I live in Dallas and at most we get ice. Um, but it has been more wet and more cold this fall already than normal. So maybe we'll get some snow. I'm gonna cross my fingers. Question number five, can you name the seven reindeer? Let's see. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen. Rudolph. There you go, people. And that was like speed round style too. <laughs> Number six, how many Christmas trees do you have? Last year we had three. And that was my first year even realizing that you could do more than one tree in your house. Traditionally growing up, we had one tree. Um, and I'm fine with that. Like it was special and it felt Christmassy. So now that we're back in a very small home, we're doing one main tree and maybe a small tree in the master bedroom if I can squeeze it in. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to yet, but for sure we'll have one tree. Do you decorate inside and outside? Inside, yes, obviously. Outside, I never have. Um, even in our last house, we didn't have like a house front that was pretty. It was mostly just the garage. Um, so I never felt the need, but this year we do kind of have a little patio and a porch. So I will probably try and do some more decorations outside. I've got some snowball ornaments. These are really fun. I might just like pile these in a little bowl or basket this year and not put them on the tree. More of my gold geometric style ornaments. Again, these are from CB2. They are so pretty on a tree. And kind of in the same style, but a little bit more subdued maybe, I don't know. I've got these, and this is called a Hameli style ornament, I think, very Scandinavian, but it is like the palest pale pink. And I have these which are white, and I think these are from Target. These are from CB2. Um, I don't know if these pink babies will get used this year. I'm thinking maybe about adding a little pink if I get to do a master bedroom tree. Um, so maybe in there, but not for sure. Kind of along the same veins, I have these pink bottle brush trees. These were from Target in the dollar spot last year. Got all the different sizes because I did do a little bit more of a feminine area in my office in our last house but I don't know if they'll find a home. Same vein, hot pink and pale pink glitter ornaments. Don't know if these are going to make the cut this year. Number eight is gift bags or gift wrap. I never, ever, ever, ever use gift bags. I think it's cheating to each their own. I really don't care. Um, I would never turn up my nose at a gift that was given to me in a gift bag. But me personally, I love wrapping presents. I love the look of a boxed gift. All of my presents that I give are boxed and I also have a wrapping paper obsession. I made a wrapping paper wall in our last home and I love picking out wrapping paper and ribbon and putting it all together and seeing all the boxes under the tree. So gift boxes for me always. Do you buy new Christmas decor every year? The real answer is yes. I don't buy full on like new sets every year, but I do add a few pieces each year because I cannot resist. Who, who can resist? I don't know. I would just roam the halls or the halls and roam the aisles of Hobby Lobby starting in July. I don't know who these people are that aren't buying new Christmas decor every year. More ornaments. I went through a real snowy phase last year, y'all. Look at these like, iridescent, snowy. Oh, those are beautiful. Those are beautiful. I wanna say West Elm, but don't quote me on that. And I 
have three sets of these kind of glossy ornaments. CB2. Seriously, I get a lot of stuff from CB2. Again, there is like a kind of dark, a dark red, a white. They have a turquoise in this collection, which is very pretty. I've got kind of a dark gray or charcoal. It almost looks black, but it's definitely a gray. And they're so dusty. They're in boxes, aren't they so dusty? A navy, which is very pretty, and pale pink. It's a very interesting collection of colors. They always come out with very unique color collections at CB2, but I really enjoyed these. They were on our sentimental tree last year. And I have three sets of those. Okay, rounding out the fifth bin, I've got some houses. I think these were from Target last year. They're the ceramic ones. <clears throat> I don't have like a full on Christmas village, but I do like just kind of little accents of these. The style is very pretty. Number 10 is, oh, number 10 is do you use a star or an angel or something else on top of your tree? I like stars. Um, this year I'm on the hunt for a very classic traditional star. Um, because the last year I think we didn't use anything. I, we had a real Christmas tree and I just liked the natural point of the branches, but usually we're star people. Favorite Christmas Carol? That's a hard one. I really like We Need a Little Christmas. I really like the, um, I think it's the Drifters, that version of I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas, which is the one that's in the Santa Claus and Home Alone, where it's like the guy with the really deep voice. That's probably my favorite Christmas song ever. I think that is just like so, you know, it just like makes you want to like bop to it. I really love that one. Favorite holiday movie? <clears throat> probably the Santa Claus. That is the one I have the most memories associated with because my mom and I would watch that and my sister, we would watch that one all the time. I think that movie is hilarious. I also in recent years have really fallen in love with Christmas Vacation. That is like the adult humor in me. I think that movie is hilarious, but I always have to watch the Santa Claus. Favorite holiday tradition? Um, well, we're still young, so we don't have a ton of holiday traditions yet. I say we're still young, we're almost 30, but anyways, um, my favorite holiday decorating tradition is that I always watch every Christmas episode of The Office while I'm decorating our house for Christmas. Whenever my big decorating day is, when I'm putting up the tree and like really going to town, I watch every Christmas episode of The Office and that makes me laugh and it makes me happy. So I do, I've done that every year for the past several years. That's one thing I always look forward to. Other than that, we don't have, Josh and I, my husband, we don't have a ton of holiday traditions besides like, you know, decorating every year, but I really want to start more. So I would love it if you would leave me a comment down below of your favorite holiday tradition and telling me kind of what are some cool things that you do with your family, with your spouse, with your kiddos. And so I can kind of start stocking up holiday traditions and start putting them into play because I love the sentimentality of it. We just don't have that many that we do. Question 14 is literally eggnog, question mark. Um, yeah, I'll drink some eggnog. It needs to be cold. It needs to be cold, cold. I don't know who these people are that are drinking eggnog out of a punch bowl that's been sitting out for three hours, but I do like the occasional cup of cold eggnog. Number 15 is fruitcake. Um, no, pass, hard pass. I'm pretty sure I've had a real piece of fruitcake. I probably blocked it out, that's how dramatic it was. And you think fruit, you think cake, you think both those things are good, but fruitcake is not, not good. Okay, last bin and last few questions. I love this little like modern reindeer cutout. This is from Target a long time ago. One of the first Christmas decorations I bought. I remember it very clearly. Um, he is just really too cute, really love him. I also have some kind of like really modern snowmen. They have no face. They're just, they're just snowmen. <laughs> Question 16 is what is your favorite fragrance around the holidays? Um, I love all the really warm, cozy scents. Right now I'm burning the candle from Michaels that is Wassel Wishes. It smells so good. I also really love a good pine candle. Um, 
I burn pumpkin and like really heavy scents all fall. So I like the variety that comes with Christmas candles. I bought Christmas cookies. Like I, I love them all, but kind of like the warm, cozy, inviting scents like the Wassel are probably my favorite because they're really like instantly, they make you feel festive. I've got some red um, bulb ornaments. I like to use these as filler in the lanterns that we have by our fireplace. That's really fun. I also have some multicolored ones. For a long time, I could never pick a color scheme. I always wanted like all the decorations. So you're probably seeing a lot, <laughs> a lot here. More bottle brush trees. Number 17 is H. You stopped believing in Santa. Um, I don't know, maybe like 10, but honestly, it's still part of me still kind of believes in Santa. And since I'm portraying Mrs. Claus this year, Santa is my husband. So obviously he's very, very real. 18, real tree or artificial tree. The past two or three years we have gotten real trees and I have loved them. Um, but this year, like I said, we have a very narrow house now and there's not a bunch of room for a big wide honking Christmas tree. So I bought an artificial one so I could really control the shape and it's more of like a little bit more of a pencil style. Um, so this year artificial. 19, white lights or colored lights, white lights, boring white lights. I know when I was a kid, I loved color lights and even now I still appreciate colorful lights. Um, but mostly the tree, the lights on our trees and on our mantle is white. And number 20, the last question is how long do you keep your decorations up after the holidays? If I'm being honest, we usually make it to February. Josh really gets sad after Christmas and he does not want the house to go back to normal. So it'll be almost February before we take everything down, which I'm okay with as well. I love seeing the house all dressed up and as good as it does feel to take everything down and give everything a deep clean and start the year fresh, I just, I always miss that Christmassy glow. So we, uh, we keep it up for quite a while. All right, that is the last of the questions, but I am gonna go ahead and finish out showing you this bin. I have this really cute snow globe with the red um, station wagon and the Christmas tree. This is also from Target a long time ago, kind of before the red trucks were everywhere um so and it is a music box so it sings a little song to you again these are i know exactly what they are because they're so heavy um these were another one of the first few things i bought for christmas they are little elf candle holders so you put the taper candle in here and it looks like he's hugging the candle. I have three of these, they're metal, they are very heavy. Um, and they're just kind of like a cute little like modern decoration. So I really enjoy those. Okay, these are part of the sentimental ornaments, but they're DIY. Um, I DIY'd several years ago, these golden snitch ornaments because we are Harry Potter nerds and I have two of them. And I don't know how many more years they're going to make it, but they're so sweet. And I always love tucking those in as like a little hidden nerd. Gnome. He was in the summer section of Target like four years ago. His gold little hat kind of made me feel like winter. So he's going to be an elf. Ooh, I love this. This is from West Elm, I think. But it is a really colorful garland. I don't know where he's going to go this year. Maybe I'll put it in Josh's studio, but it says Merry Christmas in all these fun colors. It really has that like homemade hand stitched feel. Oh, my little teeny tiny ornaments. Look how tiny they are. So cute. I have two sets, but only one in a box. And then I also have some little baby gold ornaments. Um, and they go on our little tabletop tree. <laughs> I think this is from Ikea. Yes, this is from Ikea a couple years ago and I put him in this little basket with some fake snow and then I dress him up with little ornaments. So, so cute. <clears throat> Almost done here. These are some DIY cinnamon ornaments, which they still smell. 
they do. This is like the cinnamon and applesauce style ornament. And then I took white puff paint and decorated them like Christmas cookies. It's a little tree. Can't find a little dude with a t-shirt on. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is all of my Christmas decor unboxed. And now it is time to start putting it all over the place. And I will be definitely sharing some decorate with me, including decorating the tree and the mantle if I haven't already. So I really hope that you're excited. Make sure you hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And if you want more behind the scenes day in the life fun stuff, follow me over on Instagram at ColorfulMegan and I will see you in the next video. Bye.